Greetings and salutations, this is Domingo Martinez. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to light up an LED with a push button. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take out said push button. And here's my push button. I'm using the tutorial or the diagram from the tutorial that was uh, in the video directly above this one. So let's go ahead and place this push button in the position like so. Actually, let's place it in the center. That'll be more appropriate. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually add a resistor, similar to how the LED functions. If you don't have a resistor, it might fry your LED. So we're going to go ahead and put a resistor here, and we'll just leave it at 1K. See what happens. Uh, 1 kilo ohm here. The next step now is to go ahead and wire up your push button. So that way we can, uh, the objective now is to push the button and it's going to light up a certain color and that color is going to depend on what you want. Uh, in this case we'll go ahead and say red. But since this is connected to, let's go ahead and connect this one to ground. And we'll make sure that your push button is connected to uh, any of these pins. We'll go ahead and say pin 5 in this case, but you can put it to any pin you want and we'll go ahead and connect the other pin of your push button to the to the plus column here and we'll go ahead and make it red. So this indicates that it's going to go to a power source and this power source is going to be our 5 volts. So it's not looking too pretty in terms of wiring but as long as it functions appropriately we'll be good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I stick to the color scheme here. And last but not least, let's go ahead and wire this negative column here to ground. And we're going to be consistent with the color scheme, and that's going to be black. All right, so now that you got your push button and you got your LED set up, now we can simply program it. And I'm using the same code from the previous tutorial. But this time I'm going to go ahead and add a push button. Now, let's go ahead and initiate a variable, and this variable is going to be called push. Actually, it's going to be called button. And it's going to be set to the pin that the push button is connected to. In this case, our push button is connected to pin 5, so we're going to set that equal to pin 5. And we're going to create another um, variable. In this case, we'll call it push. And this variable is just going to be used to store information that we're going to use later on for our push button. And I'll show you what we mean in a few what I mean in a few seconds. So instead of um, output, however, I'm going to go ahead and set it as an input because we're inputting information. We're simply pushing the button. So that's inputting information, as opposed to the output, which is the light, right? Because you're outputting light. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is we want to create, let's go ahead and use our variable, which is push. And push is going to be reading. It's going to read the information coming from your push button. And so that information is going to be either a high or a low. So if I push on it, it'll be high. If I let it go, it'll be low. So I'll say if, and this is how you make an if statement. So if my push is on high, then I want to turn on a certain color. In this case, we'll turn on whatever pin 11 is connected to. And then we can add an else statement in here. We can say else it'll turn off. Or actually, we'll say else it'll turn another color, in this case, whatever pin connected to pin 10. And I'm just going to go ahead and not delete this, but I'm going to go ahead and comment 
I can't comment there. So I'll go ahead and delete it. So let's see what happens. I don't see any errors. So right now it's on blue. And then if I push it, it turns red. If I let it go, it stays blue. And that's because of the if the if else statement that we put. So if I push the button, then it's going to turn red. So red is connected to pin 11. Otherwise, else it's going to turn blue. So if you're a little confused, what you can do is you can simply do what we did for the push buttons. Actually, we can say blue is equal to in this case 10 you can say red is equal to in this case 11 and therefore green must be equal to 9 so pin 9 and so anytime you see an 11 you can simply replace it with the red likewise if you see 10 you can replace it with a blue and so forth and so on so that way you can determine a little easier what is being turned on, what is being turned off, depending on your if statements. Right now we're not working with green, so it's just going to be staying off, remain off. And there you go. So that's how you incorporate push buttons. So let's go ahead and thank you.